It's all about the incremental value that bringing teams together uh, can show. So with that, I'd like to introduce somebody, Nandini Romani, who's going to show an example of this technology. Let me, let me head over here. Nandini, welcome. Thank you, Rich. So, so what we're going to see here is an example of an application that merges information, right? Yes. Um, and information streams into a single view across a variety of screens, et cetera. So walk us through this. This is very cool. Yeah, so this is a Facebook widget. Okay. And in this year's theme of Java plus you, it's all about you and the mm -hmm. services you want. Today on my desktop client, I need individual clients for ADM to connect with my friends, I, for Flickr, for Facebook. Mm -hmm. So what this application here, Connected, do, Connected Life does, it unifies all of the threads of your life into one application. Very cool. So let's watch the messages, and this is live, so all the messages are coming in as we go. And, or if we're having a bad demo day. <laughs> it's the size of the pipes in Moscone Center. Yeah, it must be. I think it crashed. If it crashed, should we start it up again? I will. Okay. <laughs> if we can take it off the screen. I'll All right. Can we shut the screen off and try this again? All right. I'll have it back. Okay. And then we'll just reset a few seconds. You want to reset please. a few seconds? Okay, because th this, is, this is cool. We, uh, this is the Moscone terror moment, right? Yeah, Ian had the same issue too. And I'm That's right. There's a lot of this going around today. <laughs> yes. So, so by the way, standing up here and doing demos live, we, we never fake them, right? We never, it's ever fake thing. them. In it. There's my boss saying, hey, Nandini. <laughs> <laughs> so can we bring it back up again? Sorry about that. But here's the app again. There we go. With live messages, can send yeah. messages say. Right. <laughs> nice. So save. we have it here, and then you know it's got Twitter, Flickr, Facebook, all of the different applications. Okay. It's embedded in a browser, yep. and it'll run across all browsers, different OS, all the things that Java brings you. And this is working with the new plugin, the Java plugin. So this Java is the plugin. new Java Update 10 plugin. Yes. The very, plugin. very, very cool stuff. All those problems, all the stuff about. Integrating Java into the browser, solved, shipping, yes, very cool. Yes, and it really rocks. And all of this is written in JavaFX. Yes. Easy to build these applications. It's got, it's got like all of these stylized things of gradients and everything. And in this case, I'm using just Facebook, Twitter, and Flickr. But you could plug this into any service. Anything that anybody wants, but this is what I wanted, and so, okay, so I should have done what you wanted, I guess, but oh, darn. I think that is what I wanted, right. Anything <laughs> running is what I wanted at this point, right? <laughs> So um, this is life in the browser. Yes. But you know, what if you want to run this on your desktop? What if you want to install this on your system and realize some of the power of directly running in the desktop, regardless of which browser you're using? Aha. Uh -huh. so okay. No wait worries. For it, wait for it. There you go. This is a live application. Oh. I'm taking it off the browser. Right. Bringing it to my desktop. There it is. It's out of the browser. Very so amazing. So. So do we need to run the browser anymore, or can we just run this on the desktop? There you go. I can shut my browser down. Don't need it anymore. It's right there. So this looks Same application. remarkably enhanced. The 3D stuff running. What's happening? I could have had the 3D in the browser, too. OK. But I wanted to extend my application when it becomes mine on the desktop. Mm -hmm. These are live photographs that people are, all my friends are up uploading. OK. Flickr. Hardware accelerated 3D right. graphics. So I can move it, click on it. It died again. Right. <laughs> well, assuming it was running, this would work on uh, about it, the, it will, the, and I, the billion desktops out there, right? Yes, so, it will work on all the desktops. OK. So, so what else do you have here? I'm trying to Just bring it back revitalize up. it again? Sorry, yes. Uh, you know, I think we're going to buy a new network. Moscone needs new network. Right, yes. Can we, can we just get a new network? All right, so we're bringing it up again? Yes, we are. But OK. And it should be up as soon as... But again, this is the FX technology we showed it is. last year. I'm going to talk a lot more about it. But and the cool thing is it takes very few, day, like couple, a day or two, to build these kind of applications. To write this, this RIA app. Yes. And back end, it's using all the Java services. Right. Web services and everything that you just talked about. All of those integrated, so you can leverage Java into your JavaFX application. And on the desktop, it's using all the local horsepower of the desktop, right? Yes, so you have access to the file system, persistent storage, all the things that Java brings to you. Okay, so we saw, we saw the app, but you know, I don't live on the desktop. 
it, running around like a nut, it's, it's hard to just drag every, everything with you. I figured you'd say that. Right, so what so about, what about it. mobile? It's on a phone. Oh, and cool. this is a low-end feature phone, too. So this is a Java ME phone. Same application. Running this app. With Korea the Java app. VM, yes. So can we uh, show everybody this? Yep. So there it is, same application on the phone with my friend Circle. Okay. And it's got access to Flickr. I can click on it, and you'll see Flickr pictures. This was an older picture. It's too dark. Sorry about that, but... There's pictures here. Same application, same FX script code. It. Yes. Yeah. Very cool. And so my application is the back same here. code in this app, running on the desktop, running in the browser. Yeah. Now, once again, dragged out of the browser. And the this browser is the, gone. Yes, the browser gone. Right. And the 3D application that I was talking to you about, hardware accelerated 3D graphics. Local file systems. Yep. And there you go. All the cool like effects and all of these things. Very cool. Notice how quickly it comes back. <laughs> Yeah, that wasn't the thing we were going to show. I know, sorry, bad <laughs> script. But here, oh, the other right. thing, because you have access to the file system, yes. I can take a picture. Okay. Cheese. Okay. And then, there you go. There's my photo. Okay. And I can drag and drop this picture onto this. Well. Right. In Everything. the fullness of time. Right. <laughs> well. I think we've run. I think we've run, I I think we've run out of. You probably want to kick me out of. Uh, no, I don't want to kick this you. one. <laughs> no, I just got to keep. But moving. you can drop it in, and it'll upload the pictures. And at the end of it, one of the cool, important things is, if you want to keep the application because you like it so much, yep. you can save it to your desktop, and it's yours. It's very cool. All right. Thanks, Nandini. Thanks, Rich. Thank you.